Hello friends, in this video I will explain how you can integrate your web application with Stripe APIs. We are going to use the custom checkout in this video and I will tell you each and every step in detail. So let's get started. Here you can see on this website I have integrated the Stripe and if you click on this register and pay, the Stripe payment screen will open. So there are two variations in which you can accept the payments. One is custom checkout and another is session checkout. So in this video, we are focusing on the custom checkout. In custom checkout, what happens is that all these card number, expiration, all these fields are rendered on your own page. In session checkout, we redirect to the Stripe hosted page and then on the Stripe, they will accept the payments and then redirect to our own website. So that is the difference between custom checkout and session checkout. So here customer can enter the card details and then make a payment then our website will contact the stripe and then payment will be successful so let us see what steps you need to take to make this integration successful okay so first step that you need to do is create account on the stripe and get the publishable key and the secret key i have already created the account and then if you go to the developers you have to go to the api keys and then from here you can get the publishable key and the secret key so right now secret key is hidden so you can just click on this button and then you can get your secret key remember that uh, there are two modes test mode and the live mode so right now i'm in the test mode so if you want to do the testing you can use the test keys if you want to use the keys in the production then you, you will have to use the production keys or the live keys so you have to just click on this button and then you can get those live keys next thing that you need to do is download this stripe js and since we are working with the next js you have to download this react stripe js as well so these two libraries you need to download and also another library you need to download that is just stripe so that will be used on the server side so you can download these libraries using the npm npm install and then you can give the name of these libraries so in the package.json you can see i have already downloaded these libraries so these top two libraries will be used at the client side and this will be used at the server side. Okay, now here the magic happens. So when the customer lands on checkout page, we are going to send a request to our server. Remember that this is our server, not the Stripe server to create the payment intent. Then our server is going to use the secret key and send the request to the Stripe server. So from our server, we are going to send the request to the Stripe server via stripe api and then we are going to get the client secret so when the customer lands on the checkout page you know like how much amount is uh, like he needs to pay and what products uh, he's gonna buy so here you can here you can use this uh, stripe api so here you can use the stripe api to create the payment intent with these details like what is the amount currency etc and then stripe will return the payment intent object and from that payment intent object you can get this property called as client secret because client secret is required uh, when the customer fills the credit card details and then hits the pay now button at that time you will need this client secret okay also to render the payment elements on the browser you will need the client secret as well so here is our checkout page and here what we are doing is you are using the use effect call our api create payment intent and then it is gonna give us this client secret okay this is where we are getting the client secret and then calling set client secret so here the state is gonna change so this api this is our own server api so let me show you that one as well create payment intent so let us see what is happening here so you can see we are using this require stripe and then process.env.stripe.sk so this is basically a secret key that we are using and here we are contacting the stripe server to create the payment intent when the client gets the client secret Client will render the Stripe elements using publishable key and the client secret. Payment element will be created at this stage. So let us go there on the index.tsx. And once this client secret is available, what happens is that we are going to call this set client secret. It is basically like calling a set state. And then our component will be rendered again. So at this point of time, you can see these elements so this elements is basically coming from the this is a component stripe component it will render all the card elements and notice here we are passing stripe promise and the options so options is basically you can see that client secret we are using in the options and in here we are passing the stripe promise so stripe promise if you see here 
we are calling the load stripe using this stripe publishable key so this is where the publishable key is being used at the client side and uh, secret key i previously showed you where that secret key is being used when we are creating that client secret so at the end of this page what will happen is that this is how this checkout screen will look like and now customer is ready to enter all the details so once customer enters all the details and he clicks on pay now button what happens is that uh, we have got the client side one function uh, which checks all the details and then contacts the Stripe server directly. So here is our checkout form and this is again at the client side. So handle submit, this is the function that is getting called when we hit on the pay now button. What, what is happening here is that we are contacting the Stripe server using this confirm payment method. We are passing the elements and then confirm parameter. So here basically you need to sp specify like after the payment is successful where the stripe should redirect the user so i have given that okay after the payment is successful go to this url check slash checkout success and if any error comes we are going to show it here so we are going to make one payment here just for the demo purpose expiry can give any future date and in here select country and then click on pay now so it will go to the checkout success page you can see it is contacting the stripe.com and now it is going to check out success page thanks for the payment we will get back to you now uh, after the payment is made you can view this transaction in the stripe dashboard so you go to the stripe dashboard and then click on payments so remember that we are in the test mode and here it will show that payment so you can see payment is successful and it is also showing the date and time that's it that's how stripe custom checkout works in next video i will explain how the session checkout works with the Stripe and Next.js application.